Mesh Wi-Fi. What is it? Here's the thing. So you have the regular Wi-Fi. It's coming from the yard and then it gets run up to your house, to the wall right here. Connect that cable to your modem. From there, you connect your modem to your router. Then basically your, your wireless signal projects in a spherical shape from that one access point, which is your router. And typically you'd want your router towards the middle of the house. There are situations where you can't have your router in the middle of the house. So with a mesh system, it's got a main hub. So basically a router, sometimes they have a router modem combo, and then it has satellite hubs, which are functionally identical to the main hub. You basically place the satellite hubs on the edge of your, you know, your, your typical range. So if, if you start losing signal in one spot of the house, right before you get to that spot, you put another mesh and then you extend your signal and it's just another copy of your router. It's not an extender, it's not a repeater. It's basically an exact replica of your router. The Wi-Fi extenders and repeaters aren't as good because they're basically repeating the signal kind of doubles the amount of time that it takes for information to process because it goes from your router to this other device and then from this device, it goes to your device and then it goes back. So it just adds extra stops along the way for information, which kind of adds a little bit more time. So speaking of mesh Wi-Fi, I'm gonna personally be upgrading my house Wi-Fi, which is why I made the video. So we went with the TP-Link BE14000, brand spanking new, literally made for the new iPhones, the new chips in the new iPhone 17 support it. But I'm very excited to uh, test the different speeds that we get because in my room, where we watch all of our movies and we play Marvel Rivals on the Xbox and the Wi-Fi signal, it's on the other side, the router over here and our room is on the complete opposite corner of the house so I kind of want to see like what different speeds we get because sometimes I like you know I'm watching like a twitch stream and it'll lag which is kind of annoying with the mesh Wi-Fi you can actually connect Ethernet cables so I could literally play with like a wired connection on my TV and my Xbox so I'm pretty excited about that I think this is the router and then there's two more here and these must be the satellites so here's your main hub and I think these are the satellites I gotta look at the box more. My wrist is hurting. It's got a six gigahertz Wi-Fi band. It's better than five, bro. You know what's better than five gigahertz? Six gigahertz. It's actually a little bit uh, less signal area. The speed is faster, but the um, actual range is a little bit less of the five gigahertz wave, which is what most people use for Wi-Fi nowadays. They use the five gigahertz. So it's got 10 gig internet port. It's got up to 14 gigabyte per second Wi-Fi speed, up to 6,000 feet, square foot, whole home coverage. With the three pack, you can get 8,100 square feet and you can connect up to 200 devices. That is insane because we definitely have about 200 devices in this house, it feels like. Not really, but man, I tell you what, this is gonna be a huge upgrade because the last, we got Wi-Fi 6 router four years ago when it first came out, Wi-Fi 6 was new. We went to Walmart, got the, I don't know, it was like a Netgear router. That thing was 200 bucks and it has been the worst router, period like in existence, it's just the signal strength is just not it. I mean, it was decent speeds, but this the Wi-Fi part of it was just, the five gigahertz doesn't even really reach our room, so we're basically running on 2.4, which is rough. Let's open the router first. Wow, it's just like a cylinder, man. What is this? Where's all the antennas? Remember when they used to have like 18 antennas? You remember that? The antennas were getting crazier and crazier. What happened? What is this? This looks like a Bluetooth speaker. Okay, what else we got? We got a little power cable with a massive block. My goodness. And then this would be an ethernet cable. I mean, this one is really just for your um, your modem to your router cord. So this one's not a, a router modem combo. So you still just use your regular modem. Okay, wow. Yo, they weren't lying. You got the one gigabyte per second, 2.5 gigabyte per second, 10 gigabyte per second, USB 3.0. Cause what the heck man, maybe I need to charge my Apple watch and a power. Yo, that's it dude. All right, so it's got those three slots. I guess we'll figure out in a second which one plugs into the modem. And then it comes with a little reset tool and a quick installation guide. Okay, so there's the router. Now let's check out the satellite hubs. See what we go. And it's just more of the same exact thing. It'd be hard to tell them apart. This is so weird. We're learning things today. We're learning mesh today, all right? I bet you didn't know you were gonna be learning mesh today, but here you are. And then the same thing, power cable, power cable, one ethernet. 
All right, so a little bit more about this thing. It's $6.99, okay? So a little bit more expensive than, you know, a $200 Walmart router. But it's for a massive house, you know? I mean, who has an 8,100 square foot house? Not me. This house is 1,200 square feet. I don't know what to tell you, brother. It's got multi-link operation, so it can connect to a bunch of different bands and pass information along all of them at the same time. And it's got TP-Link Home Shield, which provides comprehensive network protection and parental controls. So a little bit of background on Wi-Fi 7. It basically, like I said, it introduces the three 320 megahertz frequency band and that's able to provide speeds. It's 4.8 times faster than Wi-Fi 6, it's four times lower latency, and it has five times the network capacity. And the Apple's N1 chip, like I mentioned earlier, the new iPhone 17, the Galaxy S24 Ultra, the new S25 series, the Tab S11 Ultra tablet, all the all of the new the new chips, the iPhone 16 as well support Wi-Fi 7. So it's really built for these devices. Those devices are specifically built, the newer ones are built with Wi-Fi 7 seven in mind. There, there are new PCs and laptops that are typically shipped now, Wi-Fi 7 compatible. Um, the Microsoft Surface, Lenovo, Razer, and uh, Acer products now are shipping with Wi-Fi 7 chips. So I went ahead to the App Store, uh, Apple and, and uh, Google Play Store both work. You go to TP-Link Deco and you download that. And we're going to create a TP-Link ID. Okay, so this is just your email. So, give me a sec. I'm just going to hit next. And then we're gonna put in a password. We're gonna set our password for the account. Okay, so we did all the account set up. Sorry, I can't show you guys a lot of that because it has my own personal information on it, but it was pretty easy to set up. It says, ping your home and Wi-Fi, plug in your deco and wait until the LED pulse is blue and then hit let's begin. So let's go ahead and plug it in to the modem over here and then we'll hit let's begin. So this is my modem and this is my router. I'm gonna go ahead and use the ethernet cable that they provide because not everyone has ethernet cables laying around and I want an accurate representation of what you guys are gonna get. So this would be the cable coming from the modem to the router. Bye bye Netgear, Nighthawk. See you never, this thing's horrible. Hey man, it did the job. It did, does the job, but Wi-Fi 6 is a thing of the past. We must move on. We must evolve. I don't know where I'm going to put this. This doesn't mount on the wall, does it? Okay, then we'll plug it in, and then we'll plug in our internet. I'm just going to try the 10 gig slot, see what happens. Okay, now it's flashing blue, so I should be able to hit let's begin now. Deco wants to join Wi-Fi. That was instant, by the way. Deco BE67 is found. Set it up. Where do you place this Deco? In the office. Okay, I'm just gonna hit next. And now we're gonna create our Wi-Fi network. I'm not gonna show you this, okay? It's personal. After I've done that, I still can't show you the screen, but I'm just gonna hit next. After you've made your Wi-Fi information, Hit next. Deco is now online. Let's go. I didn't have to touch anything. It just started doing his stuff. Okay. Okay. I'm already getting notifications for things joining the network from the app. That's awesome. Uh, I just got a notification that my phone joined the network. Then we're just going to hit done and we'll come back and add more in a minute. Okay. We can add me as high priority. Family member, device isolation, speed limit connection preference, mesh technology. Then you have your security over here. We have scan details, uh, Wi-Fi access control, device isolation, camera security. You can get security plus, so you can try it for 30 days free. There's also a whole bunch of parental controls on here. You can also do on the go, that's a beta where you can monitor and manage your kids' online activities and content on the go. Um, we have Deco Lab, we have some reports, discover, eco mode, and then all your Wi-Fi settings. You can set up a guest network here. We Let's test our internet speed here set up your VPN there's more advanced settings you can do LED controls for your lighting on your device okay so now we're just gonna do another speed test in here real quick oh my god bruh that's a thousand upload 961 down a thousand fifteen up that's more than I'm even paying for this thing's paying for itself already, bro. Dang. Dang, it's not a scam, guys. It's real. It only costs $6.99, and you get 1015 upload, guaranteed. Not, don't, legally, that's a joke. Okay, so we're gonna test everything out now, and then we're gonna go set up our uh, satellite hubs, and we're gonna test those out as well. So, let's start with the PC. Let's see what we get, see if we get faster speeds. We got 861 up. 
861 down, 770 up, 10 millisecond latency. Give me something good, baby. Come on, Sony. We're giving it all she's got. Wow! Yeah, that's five times faster, literally, almost. Damn near five times faster. Ooh! That's wireless. Nah, that's crazy. And up is a little bit better, 85. That's actually really good. Okay, now we're gonna test the wired speed on the Wi-Fi 6 on the PS5. Eight ninety nine. That's what I like to see. That's definitely better. What do we got for up? One twenty five. Hey, that's pretty good. Through a play, like to the PlayStation, nine hundred gig for an online game is no joke, bro. Okay, so that is everything in the office. So let's go ahead and set up the satellite hubs, and then we'll test the rest of the stuff. I'll see you in my bedroom. Okay, now we're gonna set up our next satellite hub. I'm just gonna plug it in and hope that it's pretty easy. Plug it into the back and we should be good. I think now I just have to set it up on the app. So plug in your deco and wait until the LED pulse is blue. Okay, now it's flashing blue. So we're gonna go ahead and hit next. It says looking for deco. It says found it. Oh yeah, now it's solid blue. And now on the app, it'll show internet and then to the office, to the bedroom. That's it. Now we got basically a router in our bedroom. Let's go ahead and run some speed tests real quick. I guess I'll start with the phone. Everything's on, Wi-Fi 7 on. That's pretty good. Bruh. Yeah, that's pretty good. Hey, that ain't bad at all. I'll take it. 15 MS, 585 down, 643 up. So now we'll go ahead and we'll test the we'll test the Xbox next. We are connected to the wireless satellite hub. We're gonna try wireless and wired and see if there's any difference at all using an ethernet cable with this thing. But let's go ahead and test the speed for wireless. Let's see if it's gotten any better. Okay, it's a little bit better, not by much. Uh, the wireless strength is at 100% though. Uh, 47 MS latency and 181 down. Uh, so let's try, let's try wired then. It's pretty easy getting that set up, plugged in. Whoa! 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 Huh? Oh, Xbox, you're nerfing us. Xbox is nerfing us, because what the heck is that? That's, I, that's 43 more, that's 43 free megabytes per second. I'm not even paying for that. Hey, what the heck? Oh, we're gonna be downloading games so fast in here. Oh, dude, Marvel Rival update gonna be done in like five seconds. I'm leaving this plugged in. Definitely better than wireless. It's not a scam. Let's go ahead and plug in the next one in the living room. Test the speed on the phone in there, shall we? Okay, we have our third and final satellite hub. This is somewhere in between the bedroom and the office, although it seems like the office will beam it straight to the bedroom without this one because our house is so small. So we just plug this in and we'll set it up on the app real quick. And we're going to hit plus. We're gonna hit add a deco unit. One floor, place out in the open, go through all this again. And now we're waiting for it to flash blue. It's flashing blue pretty quick. We're just gonna hit next. It's look, I'm just gonna stick it right next to it. It says looking for deco. Now we wait. Okay, so I found the device. Just hit add this device. This one's gonna be in the living room. We'll hit living room. Applying settings. And she's part of the network, baby. Internet speed test. There it is. Boom. I just had to turn off 2.4 gig. It keeps connecting to that one. Look at that, 811 down, 860 up. Let's fucking go. 13 MS latency. Dang, that's what I'm talking about. That's pretty much it. We got all of our satellite hubs set up. What do you guys think of mesh Wi-Fi? Do you agree? Is it great? I think it's a really cool upgrade. Pretty much everything that I do on a daily basis 
the speed has increased by a lot. So definitely worth the price. Look into Wi-Fi 7, see if it's good for you, especially if you have a newer device. And uh, give TP-Link a shot. This thing's, I mean, this thing is no joke. Uh, eight, 800 megabyte upload. We have a thousand megabyte download in, in my room on the Xbox, which is insane. That's more than we've ever had. And I'm just super grateful for it. Surprised that this is even a thing. Definitely better than an extender and a repeater. So if you're in the market for mesh, definitely check it out. I'll leave a link for these bad boys in the description. That's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Weird Wi-Fi mesh video. Hope you learned something. I learned something today. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next tech review. Peace.